America First Legal. In August, our litigation exposed that Biden-Harris government officials admitted that they did not know the identities of Afghans they imported as refugees. Can you imagine that? So now we have Afghan National, New York Post uh, article, Afghan National in U.S. on special immigrant visa accused of plotting ISIS-inspired Election Day terror attack. By the way, folks, and I know you've already heard this, if you watch Bongino, if you watch Alex Jones, you watch any of the things that I watch, like Bongino and Alex Jones, Rodney Howard Brown was on Alex Jones today, did a great job, I watched this segment. But anyway, um, you've got to vote early because you ever wonder why they're bringing in all the terrorists? I mean, Joe Biden allowed in 30,000 rapists and murderers across the border, 425,000 convicted criminals. And then they flew in Afghans. You know where you know where you don't want to fly people in from that you don't know? The home of Osama bin Laden. You might not want to fly in people from Afghanistan. We had Afghans and Saudis are the ones who plotted 9-11 in coats with the FBI and CIA. But regardless of that. You may not want to fly them in without having any idea who they are. Unless, of course, you'll be completely safe from them because you don't have to worry about it yourself, i.e. Biden-Harris, but everybody else does. You're not worried about it at all. And, 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 of course, that's just that's the surface level. Not only are they safe from it, but what are they actually wanting from these people? A standing army? you got over 100,000 military-aged Chinese men that have come through the southern border under Harris-Biden. 100,000. So why are they flying in Afghans? They have no idea who they are. And then lo and, hold, lo and behold, one gets arrested for, for plotting an ISIS-inspired election day terror attack. And is this just a, a trial balloon right now to kind of warn everybody about what's out there? So when it happens, day of the election, everyone goes, oh, well, you know, everyone was trying to get the, you know, trying to put the people in custody that need to be put in custody, trying to get all, we're trying to stop these people, but we just weren't able to because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris flew in a bunch of Afghans. We had no idea who they were. Who would ever do that? I mean, think about this just on a very rudimentary level. Are you going to let a stranger stay at your house tonight? Just comes knocking on the door and he's some dude. And you've got a wife and kids, wife and daughters, and some guy pops in. Hey, uh, how you doing, dude? Can I stop? Can I can I crash here tonight? You're going to go, oh, sure, come on in. That's what Biden and Harris do to our entire country. That's why we have an illegal immigrant crime epidemic going on right now. And lo and behold, look at what, hap- looks what, look what just happened here. And just read that one line. They admitted, Biden and Harris government officials admitted because America First Legal puts them under oath, which is what we need to be doing. Putting getting all these people under oath. I'm not going to digress into that right now. Admitted, Biden Harris government officials admitted they did not know the identities of Afghans they imported as refugees. Then why would you import them? They were supposed to be bringing in our allies, our translators, those that gave our, our military assistance over there. These these are supposed to be like registered, registered. I'm trying to think of the terminology for it, registered allies, registered friendlies, uh, non combatants military uh you know people that gave aid to our military these people are registered they're like registered registered confidential informants you know who they are and that's what they told us they were flying in but now we're admitting they had no idea who they were flying in absolutely no idea and now one of them was planning a isis style terror attack on election day which is why all of us need to be voting early i don't like voting early I don't like the system of voting early. I think, I think election day should be a national, federal holiday. And we all go vote in person, except for the, for the infirmed, who's, who have to go through an arduous um, uh, registration uh, proof process of who they are and why they can't vote. But everybody goes and votes in person day. I wish that was the system, but it's not. And we are, listen, if you're going to be, I'm just going to insist, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove everybody wrong. I'm going to vote day of. Because I'm not going to be a part of this system. I'm going to thumb my nose at the system. I agree with you. But you can't go to a gunfight with your hands taped up. The guy's got an AK-47. You're sitting there like this. It's a different world. We need to, we need to vote our way back into sanity. But right now it's an insane world. And you've got to go ahead and fight. You've got to go ahead and fight 
in the insane battlefield. You got to go ahead and, and fight on the insane battlefield.